Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn about lists in Groovy and list is a collection data type and we have multiple collection data types in Groovy collection library like list, maps, ranges etc. and we will learn about that. Today we are going to learn about list and this will be very easy and interesting and I will show you some practical examples and before I do that let us define list. So list is a structure to store collection of data items. So this means that in a list you can store multiple elements or multiple data items. For example, the syntax here is the syntax of list is we give a square bracket and inside the square brackets we can give our elements. So for example, I can give elements or objects. So I can say this is object 1, object 2, object 3 and so on and this object can be of any data type for example it can be an integer a string a character a floating number or and so on so for example if i give a square bracket and i give some integers inside this so this is a list of integers similarly if i here say i create a list and then i add some strings so this will be a list of strings similarly I create a list and let us say I say 1 2 3 4 and let us say inside this list somewhere I also create another list so I give these square brackets and I create another list and I can give any data type elements for example I am giving some characters here so this will be a nested list there is a list inside a list so this can become a nested list as well and then I can also have a list with multiple data types for example I have some integers I have a string I have some floating numbers so this will be a heterogeneous list or I can also say this is a list of objects and then if I just give a square bracket and do not give any elements this will be an empty list so this is some introduction to list and now let us go to some practicals I will go to my Eclipse and this is our project that we created earlier I will go to this package do a right click new others and I will search for groovy and select groovy type next and create a class named list and finish and I can do the coding without using a class so I will remove this and now if I have to create a list I will just say def and I give some name to my list let us say I will say fruits so I want to create a list of fruits and I will give this square brackets and inside this I can add my elements so I am saying apples I am saying oranges and let us add grapes so I have a list of fruits now and basically this is a list of strings now if I have to get something from this list now in list these all are indexed so we have index positions and the index position starts from 0 so this element is at index position 0 this is at 1 and this is at index position 2 so if I have to access any element I can just say I can give the name of the list which is fruits in this case and in square brackets I can say the index position so if I will print this now if I say print ln fruits 1 this should give me the item or element at index position 1 which is oranges and if I run this I will do a right click run as groovy script and you can see it is printing oranges now I can also say I will say print ln fruits I can use the function get as well and I can give the index position here so if I say get and index position 2 this should print grapes so if I run this now it is printing grapes so I can do like this and now there are many operations or functions you can do on lists for example if I create a list I say def and I give a name let us say my list and here I am adding some integers and let me also add another list inside this list where I have some characters like A and B and let me also add a 
string and then uh, integer so you can see this is a heterogeneous list or a list of objects where I have some integers like 1 2 3 4 and I also have a list within this list which is at index position 3 so this is 0 1 2 and this is at index position 3 now here again I can have some functions so for example I can say here my list and I can get any element using this brackets and I can give an index position so for example if I want to access 3 I will just say index position 2 so here I will say index position 2 and this will print 3 so if I run this I will say print ln and my list index position 2 and this will print 3 now if I have to access groovy so for this what I can do I can say here I will say print ln my list and this list this entire element is at index position 0 1 2 3 so if I print 3 here if I say index position 3 if I run this let us see what happens so this is actually printing this entire element which is a list but I need groovy so for this I will say from 3 and then I will again say get index position 2 so groovy is at index position 2 inside this list so if I run this now here you can see we are getting groovy now if I want to use the get function so for that what I will do is I will say print ln my list dot get now here I have to say index position 3 which will access this entire element which is a list and from here I again have to get index position 2 so I will again say get and I will say index position 2 and this should access groovy if I run this now here you can see it is accessing groovy now I can also access multiple elements so I can also say print ln my list and in the square brackets I can say 0 dot dot 2 so it will access all the elements starting from index position 0 until index position 2 if I run this sorry there was this typo I will save this and run this again and you can see it is getting all the elements from 1 to 2 now if I have if I say something like I will say my list and in square brackets I say uh, get from index position 4 until backwards to 2 if I run this let us see what happens if I run this here you can see it is it is getting the elements from the back so it is taking 4 and then this and then going until 3 which is at index position 2 so you can do something like this as well and then we can use some functions like I can say my list dot contains and I can give some object let us say I say 2 so I can check if it contains something I will run this and check so it is printing true that means 2 is present now if I have to check groovy what will I do if I say contains groovy here and run this here you can see it is printing false because it is just checking the elements and to access groovy I have to go to index position 3 so here I will I'll have to say my list at index 3 dot contains groovy so if I run this now and let us see the output and you can see now it is printing true so this is how you can check for contains and then I can also check the size so we have a function if I say print ln my list dot size and run this 
this will give me the size of the list and you can see the size is 5 and of course if I have to get the size of the internal list I will again go to the index position of that list and run this again and here the size of the internal list is 2 which is you can see this one so you can use the size functions and then if I have to add something in the list I can say my list and I can just say dot add and I can give the element and then I will check so I will print my list and if I run this now here you can see 10 is added here so 10 is appended in the list I can also do something like I can say my list and I can use this concatenation operator and add something so this will again add this value to the list it will append if I run this let me also print my list here and if I run this this should add 20 as well so you can see 20 is also added into our list now you can also use the add function to add some element at a particular location so I can say dot add and you can see we have a function here where we can also give the index position so I will use this and I'm saying at index position to add the element 22 so this should add 22 at index position 2 if I run this now here you can see it has added 22 at index position 2 in the list so you can do something like this I can in fact remove as well so I can also say my list dot remove and I can give the index position so if I say remove at index position 2 and then I will print my list and if I run this now here you can see it has removed 22 so it is no longer here in our list and then I can use something like I can say my list and I can say plus and I can add some values I can say 30 and comma 40 so I can add items into my list like this and if I run this I will run this and check and here here it has not yet added so I will have to again after adding I will have to store back into my list so I will say my list equals my list plus 30 40 and if I run this now here you can see 30 and 40 are added into the list and then I can do something like I can say my list dot plus so I can use the plus here and I can again say I can add something I will say add 50 and I will again have to say my list equals my list plus 50 and I will print my list so if I run this now here you can see 50 is also added and of course we can do the opposite that is minus I can say my list equals my list minus 30 and 40 and I will print my list and again I will say my list equals to my list and I will use the minus function here so I will say minus and I will say minus 50 and again I will print the list so if I run this now here you can see it has first removed 30 and 40 here and then it has removed 50 and we are back with our original list so you can use minus and plus like this and here we can also use the functions like I can say my list dot pop and I will print my list so pop will remove an item and what item it will remove let me check if I run this now so here using pop it removes the first item so you can see one is removed I can remove the last item by saying my list dot remove last and this should remove the 
last item from the list if I run this now yeah you can see it has removed the last item which was 20 from the list so you can do something like this I can also do some matching for example I can say my list dot intersect and here I can check with uh, some integers I will say with 1 2 3 and I will also print this so here I am checking the match with these integers and whatever will be matched will be returned if I run this now here you can see we had only 2 and 3 from this 1 2 and 3 2 and 3 were present in the list so it has returned that these are the two elements which matched from the list and I can reverse my list I can say my list dot reverse and then I can print my list so this should do reverse and this is how it has done it and here I can show you with some other list so for example I create a list say list 1 and I have something like 1 2 3 4 and 5 and I say here let me check if I have to add it again to my list if I run this now and yes uh, this was the reason it was not printing it properly so I do not need this examples uh, so here I have to again add it back to my list so this is the reversal and then I can do sort I can say my list is equals to my list dot sort and I will again print my list and if I run this now it has done the sorting and uh, this we can also say this is kind of a reverse sorting because we have reversed and then sorted so we can do sorting like this and then I can also check I will say print ln my list dot is empty so I'm just checking if my list is empty and of course this should return false because my list is not empty so it is returning false if I clear my list I will say my list dot clear and then I will check is empty and if I run this now this should return true and you can see this is returning true so these are some of the functions you can use with lists and this is how you can use lists in Groovy I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching